Hello everyone, this is Imanali here. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to talk about how to make a custom header and footer in WordPress. So as you can see, we are at WordPress.com and you will need two uh, plugins for this to work. So right now I'm going add plugins and you can just go ahead and click on add new and it will take you right over here and here you can search like Elementor and when you search Elementor it will take you right over here and the first one you can see Elementor website builder so you are going to install this plugin and obviously my uh, plugin is installed but it's not updated so I'm just going to update it right now and you just need to click on install just like this one click on install now and activate it once it's done uh, go back to add new again and here you can also search one more which is uh, Elementor header and footer plugin so it's it's kind of and it's loading right now and here we are so from now on you can see the first one which is elementor header and footer builder by brainstorm force and nickel uh, so you can just click on more details and it will tell you all details by the way all of the things i'm using in this tutorial is everything is free so feel free to use it and obviously you can see right beside they will show up like uh, elementor website builder so just click on install now and uh, wait for it you just need to activate it after that and once it's done click on activate and it's done so right now you can see on the left side we have elementor like uh, obviously i have already installed it but uh, on the left side it won't show up once like it will show up once you download this or install this so it is over here but you don't need to go over there you just need to go at appearance and you can see over here we have an option for uh elemental header and footer builder so once you click on it it will take you right over here and here you are going to add your you know your uh, header and footer whatever you want but before that go back to your elementor and here we are what you need to do you need to click on like check this elementor header and footer once you do that it will enable elementor header and footer otherwise it won't show up by the way if you haven't installed like elementor header and footer builder plugin it will not show like this uh, plug uh, this um, option will not show up so once you download that and install that uh, plugin then it will show up over here so just remember that so click on over here save changes and go back to your appearance elementor header so you end up over here and now we are ready to create our header so click on add new and you can see create immersive header and footer design i'm just going to skip all of this and we have some options over here obviously we need to give a title right so i'm just going to give the title for header and type of template whatever the type of template you want to choose so i'm just going to click on it like it's a header right because we are going to create a header right click on header and display on which uh, side you want to display like entire website and they are whatever you have on your website right you can uh, just play around and you can just see that i'm just going to click on entire website uh user roles you can also select user roles if you want and you have your custom fields you can add your custom fields and it's very easy in my opinion to do that so but what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on publish and i'm going to click on edit with elementor so this is like the basic work from outside and i'm going to like create my custom header right so right now it's opening elementor this is why we have installed elementor plugin so here we are so right now the first thing you can see on like on the page is plus icon and it says add new section click on it and we are going to click on these three sections why because one would be because we are going to create header right so one the first section would be our logo second section would be our menu and third will be our like call to action and whatever you want to add like add to card and etc so i'm just going to click on it and you can see on the top we have three structure over here and don't worry we can resize this later so right now just click on the first one and you can just click on global and 
Elementor and you can add your image over here but we are going to search for logo so you can see this is our side logo this is our side logo but it is you know this is not a free version this is a free version but uh, that's why this is off otherwise it would be on so right now i'm just going with the side logo and i'm going to drag this over here and simple as that this is our side logo you can just click on like image size and whatever you want you can do choose that you can choose the style if you want and you have your advanced options like border background whatever you want to add you can also do that it's very easy and uh, after that you can align that and if you think that you like you want to put this over here on uh, this area you can do that also so in my opinion this is where i'm going to choose my logo and i'm going to put that over here and after that what do you need to do you need to add your call to action button and menu right it's very easy so go back again click on these icons and search for button and you can see the first one is button so i'm just going to drag that over here you can add that like this would be our call call to action button and i'm gonna align that to right side and size would be small and icon spacing if i want to add that you can see on the top right we can change every single thing and you can choose the type like default info or success or you know warning and danger would be red yep so you can see the styling you can change the styling if you want like if you hover it it will it will change you can add that color like if i want to hover it over here it will change to white you can update it if i click on update it will be changed i don't know why it's not, uh, not happening right now so you can you get you get the idea like how you can add a uh, call to action button and last one which is uh menu right so we are going to search for specific like navigation menu and the first one is over here just drag that over here and we have our menu over here from our website by the way so this is our from website and obviously it's like congested over here because my website was like this so i'm just going to drag that over here you can just delete this uh if you want obviously it's just showing because i have that and you have your styling also and advanced and every single thing and that's it this is how you are going to create your header and just click on update after that after that we need to click on our website right because we need to see that it has been changed or not this is our header right so i'm just going to click on over here go to my website and if i see over here you can see everything has changed whatever we want to and this is our call to action on like top right corner this is how you can edit your header and obviously in the same way we can edit our footer so it's very easy as you can see and uh, it's not the headache you just need two plugins and everything just follow my steps and you will end up over here so i hope you understand every single thing please leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching this video if you have any queries comment down below thank you and bye bye